A green tract of land stretches straight from west to east across the Musashino Plateau, following the flow of the clear waters of a river. This 43-kilometer head race, the Tamagawa Josui Head Race, was dug by people around 360 years ago. The demand for water began to grow from the early Edo period with the increasing population. From Edo to Tokyo, the waterworks has propped up the growth of the city. Tokyo's modern waterworks, which greatly improved public hygiene, first started to distribute the water toward the Kanda and Nihonbashi areas from the Yodobashi Water Purification Plant in 1898. After that, new water resources were secured, including the Oguuchi Reservoir and Tone River System, and new facilities development, including the Higashi Murayama Purification Plant in order to ensure a clean, safe, and stable supply of water as Tokyo grew. And today... Tokyo has become a mega metropolis with a population of 13 million. Tokyo Waterworks, who functions to provide a lifeline for citizens' life and urban activities of Tokyo Metropolis, aims at stable supply of safe, delicious, high quality water. Moreover, the utmost effort is made to manage risks, along with the establishment of a solid system and efficient, sound administration to ensure reliable operations. Initiatives are also implemented with foresight in an effort to further evolve the world's leading waterworks system and promote it throughout Japan and the world as it is passed on to the next generation. Open the faucet and the water can be drunk. Tokyo Waterworks strives to provide safe, delicious, high-quality water. Other than standard water treatment, advanced water treatment is implemented with the addition of ozonation and biological activated carbon to further improve the safety and deliciousness of the water. In ozonation, Organic substances that cause a musty odor are decomposed by the strong oxidizing power of ozone. In biological activated carbon absorption treatment, organic substances and ammonia are treated by using the absorption effect of activated carbon in combination with the decomposition effect of microorganisms. This advanced water treatment has been implemented at all purification plants on the Tone River system since October 2013 to ensure the supply of delicious water. We have set our unique water quality target for delicious water. The targeted level of water quality has been set stricter than the national standard with the aim of further enhancing the quality of tap water in an effort to bolster the Tokyo High Quality Management Program. Residual chlorine is constantly monitored by automatic water quality meters installed at 131 points within our service area to ensure the maintaining of its concentration at appropriate levels. Equipment has been installed at water supply stations supplying water to various regions to allow chlorine to be injected into the water. This enables a variety of measures to be implemented, such as reducing the amount of chlorine 
injected at the purification plant. In order to supply safe, delicious, high-quality water, a shift to the direct water service is being actively promoted. Compared to the traditional water supply facilities with receiving tanks, the water quality deterioration rate during storage is low. It is energy efficient and does not require maintenance of the receiving tank. The drinking fountains at elementary and junior high schools are being shifted to the direct water service system as part of a model demonstration project. Since fiscal year 2015, inspectors and other employees of the Bureau have been implementing Tokyo Water Works Diagnosis for Peace of Mind by directly visiting customers at home. Every customer's home is visited to carry out simple leakage investigation and water examination, after which the results of the diagnoses and the Bureau's initiatives are explained and a questionnaire survey is carried out. This initiative aims to allow customers to understand the high quality of the water and simultaneously listen to their opinions and requests to reflect them in the Bureau's operations. Water conservation forests, known as green dams, nurture the sources of tap water. Forests function to store water, prevent the outflow of earth and sand, filter the water, and play a variety of other roles. The Bureau of Waterworks, Tokyo Metropolitan Government, strives to manage precious water conservation forests in order to secure a stable supply of water and protect the Obuuchi Reservoir. Moreover, in order to secure a source of good quality water, the Bureau is actively purchasing privately owned forests which are feared to have a major influence on Oguchi Reservoir, and agreements have been concluded with companies and other organizations to carry out preservation activities to further promote the protection of forests. The Tamagawa River flows from its headwaters in Mount Kasatori of Yamanashi to Tokyo Bay. The Oguchi Reservoir Located near the headwaters is a dam that was built by the Bureau of Waterworks, Tokyo Metropolitan Government. It is one of the largest dams in Japan, built solely for the purpose of providing tap water, and it holds enough water to supply Tokyo for around 40 days. The raw water of Tamagawa River is drawn from the Ozaku and Hamura intake weirs, and it flows naturally to the Murayamakami, Murayamashimo, and Yamaguchi reservoirs. From these reservoirs, it is piped to purification plants in Higashi Murayama and other places. Around 80% of the water in Tokyo comes from the Tone and Arakawa river systems. The raw water from the Tone river system passes through a dam upstream, the Tone Large Weir, and the Musashi Channel before flowing into Arakawa River. Then the raw water is drawn, along with the water from the Arakawa River system at the Akigase intake weir, and it is piped to purification plants such as the one in Asaka. To further stabilize the supply of water, the Higashi Murayama purification plant and the Asaka purification plant are joined by raw water connecting pipes to ensure the effective management of the raw water. The Bureau of Waterworks, Tokyo Metropolitan Government, has 11 main purification plants. It is Japan's largest waterworks utility, supplying tap water to the 23 wards of Tokyo and the Tama area. In order to ensure a stable water supply, it is necessary to make maximum use of the extensive network of transmission distribution pipes to ensure the effective use of the precious water. We have formulated an optimal water supply control and management plan based on forecasts of the daily fluctuations in water demand and have controlled comprehensively management of the water on a 24-hour, 365-day system from the reservoir to distribution pipes. 
many large purification plants will face the time of renewal around 2020. To avoid the significant capacity degradation and prioritize the stable supplying of water to the capital Tokyo, we will launch the work based on prior development of alternative waterworks purification facilities of the equivalent capacity. Progress has been made in building backup functions and networking of the transmission pipes that transport water from the purification plant to the water station to ensure there are alternative routes for securing water in the event of not only disasters and accidents, but also when renewing facilities and so on. The water facilities of the Tama area are managed individually by their respective cities and towns, so they lack extensive networks and many of them are small, scattered facilities that have grown old. Because of this, work is underway to construct new water transmission mains and reconstruct facilities. We are also working to interconnect the water pipes of different cities and towns and reconstruct facilities to improve the stability of the water supply in the Tama area. This is a residential area in Tokyo. A leak detection work is being carried out in the dead of the night. Workers are trying to identify the locations of leaks from the small sound they make. The leakage rate in major cities around the world is said to be around 10 to 30 percent, but we have succeeded in suppressing this to around 3 percent. Making use of this technology, we have been providing technical support to other domestic waterworks utilities. Moreover, in order to prevent leakage, distribution pipes are replaced regularly. Old pipes can lead to muddy water and leakage, so they are being replaced with ductile iron pipe with earthquake-resistant joints. Moreover, water service pipes are being replaced with rust-resistant and strong corrugated stainless steel pipes, and 100% of pipes along public roads have now been replaced with these stainless steel pipes. We have been implementing countermeasures against a variety of threats such as earthquakes both hard and soft countermeasures against these threats have been bolstered with the aim of establishing a robust water supply system. The eminence of a so-called epicentral earthquake in the capital area has been pointed out. Securing a water supply under such circumstances has become a vital issue for the lives of 13 million residents, the continuation of activities in the city, and the maintaining of urban functions. To minimize the damage to the water supply system in an earthquake, the entire system, from the intake facilities to purification plants, water distribution reservoirs, and water supply, will be made more earthquake resistant. We have been replacing existing pipes with earthquake resistant joints pipes with a function that prevents pipe decoupling. By 2025, the rate of earthquake resistant joints will have risen to 61% from just 27% at the time of the Great East Japan earthquake. Existing pipes are being replaced with priority on the supply routes to vital facilities. Tokyo Waterworks aims to install earthquake-resistant joints pipes in 100% of pipelines, supplying capitals, central agencies, and emergency medical institutions, as well as some refuges, by 2019. As a measure against contamination of the water by foreign substances at purification plants, filter basins are kept covered. Moving forward, other places will be covered as purification plants are renewed as further measures against emergencies. As for power generation, more non-utility power generation facilities will be developed at waterworks facilities to ensure the continuation of the waterworks, even during blackouts due to disasters. 
To prevent flood damage to waterworks facilities in the event of major typhoons, localized downpours, and other such phenomena, waterproof weirs are being built, embankments are being raised, and other measures are being implemented against flooding. Reciprocal provision of water systems are also being established between local waterworks. They will allow water to be shared between Saitama Prefecture and Kawasaki City, for example, during emergencies. During a water outage after an earthquake, for example, water will be distributed from emergency water supply stations. These water supply stations in times of emergencies will be open at one of three locations. At water supply points, for example at purification plants, at evacuation centers where water will be delivered by vehicle, or at fire hydrants fitted with temporary faucets. The locations of the 200 emergency water supply stations in metropolitan Tokyo can be checked on our website. A variety of drills are run at the Bureau of Waterworks to ensure the speedy supply of water even during water stoppage, for example, after disasters. In addition to these drills, other drills are carried out in collaboration with other waterworks utilities. The Bureau also provides support to drills run by the respective wards. Cities and towns, as well as drills run for the benefit of residents and at hospitals, totaling over 300 drills per year. To further the energy efficiency of the waterworks system, we have formulated the Tokyo Waterworks 10-Year Plan for Energy Efficiency in 2015. It will aim to boost the energy efficiency of the current waterworks system by over 20% by fiscal year 2024, compared to fiscal year 2000. An example of a specific initiative is the installment of small hydroelectric power generation, making effective use of potential energy and excess pressure due to topographical differences in elevation at water supply stations and other facilities. Photovoltaic generation will be installed over filter basins at purification plants, and their installment will be spread further to cover distribution reservoirs and the rooftops of buildings. Cogeneration systems that are being installed at large-scale purification plants recycle waste heat generated during power generation, boosting energy efficiency. This is the Training and Technical Development Center. It is one of the largest facilities in the country dedicated to training, research, and development in waterworks. There are experience-based training facilities, and not only staff of the Bureau of Waterworks, but also trainees and visitors from all over Japan and the world gather here to use the facilities to acquire on-site techniques and capabilities. The Bureau of Waterworks Tokyo Metropolitan Government is one of the biggest waterworks in Japan with advanced technology and it is contributing to the fostering of human resources by accepting trainees or dispatching experts all over the world centered on Asia. The Bureau collaborates with the government, government affiliated agencies and private enterprises in projects to cooperate in technical assistance, develop infrastructure and implement initiatives to improve waterworks in overseas cities. We have also participated in international conferences of the International Water Association and actively organized international conferences with the aim of promoting and sharing the Bureau's technologies and know-how. Moreover, an Asian Waterworks Utilities Network of Human Resources Development has been established to encourage the exchange of information and opinions on initiatives and know-how to foster human resources. Waterworks caravans are being held to deepen understanding for the waterworks among elementary school children 
who carry the future on their shoulders. They target fourth graders with accessible programs that incorporate plays, movies, and experiments. Their goal is to allow reaffirmation of the deliciousness and safety of tap water. The events are also being held at regional children's houses targeting the parents, and they have been held for the general public since fiscal year 2016. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Bureau of Waterworks runs tours of facilities, and a PR facility has been opened to deepen understanding for the waterworks. The Tokyo Waterworks Historical Museum traces the history of the waterworks. The Tokyo Water Science Museum examines the wonder and importance of water from scientific perspectives. And the Oktama Mizuto Midori no Fure Aikan looks at the nature and history of Oktama and how dams operate. People are invited to visit and enjoy museums of their choice. The Bureau engages in a variety of initiatives, including crisis management, the implementing of environmental measures, and international development. In preparations for the IWA World Water Congress 2018, Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games, and beyond, the Tokyo Waterworks Innovation Project has been launched. We will collaborate with various actors to further evolve the world's leading Tokyo Waterworks and promote it throughout Japan and overseas. Targeting the Athletes' Village area of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games, we will implement automated meter reading with smart meters. We provide the watching and visualization service based on the changes in used water volume. Empirical research will be conducted on the production and use of hydrogen energy to contribute to the realization of a hydrogen society. Making use of our own water leakage prevention technology, technical support will be provided to domestic waterworks entities to reduce the leakage rate by accepting trainees and dispatching specialized staff. Tap water stations, which are symbolic drinking fountains, will be established at the IWA World Water Congress 2018 venue and Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games Stadium. They will allow numerous people throughout Japan and the world to try tap water, and they will also promote the progressiveness, history, and culture of the Tokyo Waterworks. Private forests are being purchased actively, and agreements are being concluded with companies and groups to implement preservation activities to ensure the securing of water resource forests. We implement bus tours to waterworks facilities, including Tamagawa Josui Head Race and surrounding art museums. The tours provide opportunities for people to familiarize themselves with the history and culture of the waterworks and deepen their understanding. Art exhibitions and workshops under the theme of water are being held in cooperation with the Art Museum Network to increase opportunities for people to reaffirm the importance and value of water. A variety of other measures are also being implemented with the aim of evolving and promoting the Tokyo Waterworks. Focusing attention on safe tap water as the first step toward environmental friendliness. Perpetuating the Japanese culture of drinking water directly from the tap. The waterworks system boasted by the Tokyo Waterworks will be further evolved to provide a stable supply of high-quality tap water. The Tokyo Waterworks will continue evolving into the future. <laughs>